Uh, hi there, I'm David Wallen. I am the Vice President for Community in the OGF and I'm also representative within the United Kingdom of the national grid infrastructure that we have built and constructed. In the past year, the OGF has had many successes. These have been not only the events that we've held, the new communities that we've engaged, building on the success of our existing communities, standards that have been adopted, standards that have been implemented by different organisations and different groups. We've seen those move into other areas, been used in manners in which we'd never expected and had their practice, their best practices and their their comments and their inputs back for the next generation of specifications, the next generation of inputs, the next generation of implementations. We have a defined strategy within OGF of our communities group, our community groups, our research groups and our working groups. To concretely work with the Asia-Pacific region, we want to establish a permanent community here, building on the presence that ISGC has in the area is the only logical way for us to move forward. As we move forward, the challenges for OGF are actually manifold. Firstly, we have the standards that we have in recommendation. We have to make sure that we have communities, both our existing and our new communities, adopting what we've done. OGF can only be successful if we have adoption. We're not building these standards, we're not writing these documents for our own benefit, for our own consumption, but we need to see users, we need to see developers using what we've produced. The OGF strategy on cloud so far has been through the development of our OCCI, the Open Cloud Computing Interface. This has reached a stage within OGF of recommendation. As such now, not only do we have our implementations, but we have to look towards the future. How is OCCI going to be used? It's clear that that is not going to be in isolation. It has to exist in, a, in, a, in an ecosystem of other standards, not only those developed within OGF already and developed for different reasons. We, for example, information publishing, service location, authentication and authorization, but also standards developed in our partner SDOs. Use, for example, of the open virtualization format from DMTF together as a profile. And this is our new and upcoming activity that will be quite a focus for OGF in the coming year ahead. A cloud interoperability profile that we develop using a number of different standards operating together will enable different communities of users, different communities of providers to actually be able to connect their requirements and their provision together to produce whole ecosystems around cloud and around the different research use cases we have.